I'm sure you've heard plenty of speculation about the real estate market, with the main question being, is the real estate market going to crash in 2022? Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hi, my name is Robert Carrillo, President and Associate Broker at Carrillo Group CANY. Hi, my name is Yvette Romero, Associate at Carrillo Group CANY. Stay till the end for a downloadable bonus. A real estate market crash comes when the bubble bursts. A bubble is a temporary period of time where the months or years characterized by high demand, low supply, and inflated prices. These bubbles are caused by factors including rising economic prosperity, low interest rates, and easy access to credit. Forces that make a housing bubble pop or the market to crash include a downturn in the economy, a rise in interest rates, and a drop in demand. The last real estate market crash in 2007 and 2008 was laden with fraud, schemes, and other criminal activity, what makes it very different than today's real estate market. That's right. It's not mentioned enough when comparing real estate markets. That 2007-2008 real estate crash was caused by a lot of fraud. Does it feel like a bubble? Sure, there's high demand, low supply, and high prices. But the bubble wasn't caused artificially, which is different than 07-08. To that artificialness, in 07, real estate values were driven by greedy bankers, greedy mortgage professionals and appraisers, and victims were borrowers when they weren't willing participants in the house of cards. Demand was driven by access to capital. People who had no business having a mortgage were all of a sudden participants in the real estate game. That makes sense. How about the popping of the bubble? Rising interest rates, rising inflation, impending economic downturn? In a vacuum, we tell people to run for the hills. This is today's real estate market we're talking about though. And it comes down to supply and demand and the fact that today's buyers and owners are different than the buyers and owners from 07, 08. So let's start with demand. I think it's safe to say that demand for home ownership is probably higher now than at any time in my lifetime. Think about it. The, the pandemic did that. How sure are you that another pandemic won't affect our lives sure. in the next handful of years? Mm -hmm. I'm not being pessimistic when I say we will probably see some virus affect our lives again. When that time comes, where do you want to be? If there's one thing the pandemic showed everyone is that home ownership is valuable, beyond dollars and cents. Home ownership makes people feel safe. It makes people feel successful. And according to Unison's 2021 State of the American Homeowner Report, 91% of homeowners say they feel secure, stable, or successful owning a home. And 83% of them said it kept them safe during the pandemic. Today, 70% of homeowners feel more attached to their homes compared to 58% pre-pandemic. So that demand for home beyond economics is there in general. More people are coming into the market too. Millennials are entering their prime home buying ages, 30 to 34. And 86% of them believe home ownership is a good financial investment. Gen Zers are thinking about ownership at a younger age and have a different means of acquiring, right? They're more apt to buy with friends, for example. More people want, need homes. More people want out of crammed apartments and want and need outdoor space. Do you have any friends in big cities? Ask them. Anecdotally, I say three beds, two baths is the sweet spot, whether for singles, couples, friends, small families. What do you think? I think that two to three bedrooms are enough space for privacy and for friends, family, um, gatherings, extracurriculars like office, gym, or maybe even a guest room. Um, and we haven't even mentioned the empty nesters who are downsizing and hitting that sweet spot too. Here's a good time to give you a bonus we mentioned. We're giving you a rent to mortgage calculator to download. It's a great tool to estimate how much your budget can buy and a great first step in the home buying process. Yes, get that calculator. Demand is there, will be there. What isn't there is supply, which makes that supply more valuable. And that value is real. Real people have the means, unlike any time before, to pay more for that supply. It's a great time to be a seller. But again, think about it. How much would you pay for that security, that safety, when the next pandemic comes? It's not about scaring people. It's about preparing and being realistic about the future. I'll tell you what, homeowners aren't selling themselves out of ownership. They're still owning. Demand is there. And in California, listings are on the market eight days. Only eight days. And 71% of listings are going above asking. The supply side of things is not getting better. 
The new home construction is still below the rate it needs to be to catch up with demands. In fact, the 0708 crash directly led to a slowdown in construction, from which we still haven't caught up. Another wrench in the supply is that home builders aren't building homes for homeowners anymore. They're now in bed with investment banks and REITs, so that supply will never reach home buyers. Until modular construction takes off, which should be in the next one or three years, we can forget about supply equaling demand. That's another video. So low supply, high demand. And the buyers are legit. They have better credit, more disposable income, and lenders have more stringent guidelines. It all lines up. There will not be a crash in 2022. I hope we don't get that question for the remainder of the year. Is it okay to make predictions? Sure, why not? There won't be a crash in 2023 either. That's for December's <laughs> video. If you like this video and like to see more videos, including that one in December, click on the boxes on the screen. Once again, my name is Yvette Romero. And I'm Robert Carrillo. Our contact info is in the description box below. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching. We are Carrillo Group CANY, where we do real, real estate, estate with, with purpose. purpose. Peace. Peace.